Hi, this is Barb Eichinger from Future Plus Systems, and welcome back to our lab. Today we're going to talk about a known failure mechanism in DDR3 memory called row hammer. DDR memory is pervasive in our world today and is the main memory of nearly all cloud computing servers. This known failure mechanism is rarely talked about, but it is important to bring this information to the industry's attention. In servers, the DDR memory is located on DIMMs, or dual inline memory modules. Some servers contain up to 24 DIMMs in a single machine. In many cases, software running on the servers uses semaphores and has to access the same location over and over looking for a bit change in order to know if a task has finished. These repetitive accesses can cause this row hammer failure to occur. The DRAM parts that make up the DDR memory are organized like a matrix with rows and columns. Prior to a read or write, the memory controller issues an activate command. This command causes the memory cells of a row to be charged. The data corruption occurs when adjacent rows that are not being accessed or refreshed become victim rows to charge leakage from the adjacent hammered row. This charge leakage then causes a bit flip that can then result in undetectable data corruption. The row hammer detection feature of the FS2800 DDR Detective looks for excessive activate commands to the rows of the DDR3 memory so that vendors can test their servers along with their software to see if they are susceptible to this failure mechanism. Let's see how this tool works. Once the DIM interposer is installed in the target system and we have completed the configuration, we are ready to start using the tool. The DDR detective utilizes 2400 counters divided into two 1200 counter row hammer detection units to track every activate by row address that occur within an interval of 64 milliseconds, which relates to the minimum retention period of a single location in a synchronous DRAM. These counters are reset and reassigned at the end of each retention period interval. These counters run continuously and never miss an activate command. If the number of unique addresses exceeds the available counters, a remainder count is incremented to indicate that the traffic is highly variable. The retention period can be lowered to 32 milliseconds by selecting high temp, as this is the retention period for high temperature operation. The retention period of the tool is fixed in that it is not a rolling window. To help compensate for this, the tool actually has a duplicate set of counters offset by half the retention period to give better coverage. Each of these row hammer detection units contains 1200 counters. There are two variable threshold limits that the user can set to flag activated row addresses that cross those limits. Display time is controlled from 10 to 120 seconds by adjusting the data display parameters. An XML-based report for all activates with their corresponding row addresses that exceed the thresholds can be generated. The row hammer setup page allows the user to set an address range across slots, ranks, and banks. By narrowing down the range, it helps keep the counters from overflowing and can give more accurate results. The row hammer output graphic gives a relative mapping of the address of the row that exceeds the threshold. The blue indicates threshold 1 has been exceeded, and the red indicates threshold 2 has been exceeded. The exact address of the row exceeding the threshold will also be indicated for each row hammer detection unit and reported each second. The tool will give a trigger out 7200 cycles following an activate command which reaches threshold 2. The size of the threshold counters is 21 bits. Each row hammer detection unit also reports status at the end of each retention cycle. This status would indicate if an overflow occurred and how many activates were not counted and if an overflow did not occur, how many counters remain unused. So that's it for our quick overview of the row hammer detection feature of the DDR Detective. This feature is now included in all DDR Detective shipments. 
To summarize, if a row of memory cells becomes hammered, meaning that they are repeatedly subjected to the memory controller's activate command, they can leak charge into physically adjacent cells, causing those cells to be corrupted. So if you're having trouble trying to track down some of those unexplained memory errors in your data center or on your memory project, give us a call. We can help. For more information on this product and other great memory tools, visit our website at www.futureplus.com. And we'll see you next time in the lab.